morning, I think we we're ready. We've been trying to clear all the problems out. You see, they not, the wind knocked down the canopy, and we out here, and the sun is hot. But this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. And we come today to celebrate the 93rd anniversary of the Trinity Baptist Church. Truly, we are thankful out to God for everything that He has done for us. And we're not going to keep you long. I know you got your air conditioner on, but I'm hot already. Amen. Thank my grandson and brother Colton for helping me set up today because it was a tedious, 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 tedious task. So we're going to move forward. We're going to do a few things, and then we're going to continue to give God the praise for everything that He has done. We're going to start with the Lord's Prayer and the hymn for today. Amen. Phone is disconnected. Shining, but it is hot out here, so I'm only gonna pray for two seconds. If you don't touch it in the first two seconds, you might have to go home and pray for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. How many glad to see 93 years of Trinity Baptist Church? Sounds disconnected. 
Hello, K. I, I got you. I got you, K. I, I, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Amen. How many need a blessing on today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you in the back, gang, gang. Hallelujah. We're going to look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are God and you are in control of all matters in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are God. We thank you that you are in control. We thank you that you are just. We thank you that you are sovereign. We thank you that you are holy. We thank you that you are imminent. We thank you that you are transcendent. We thank you that you are the true and the living God. We thank you that you are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. We thank you for your son Jesus who died on the cross for us. But it didn't stop at the cross because he's now seated at the right hand of you, Father, and making intercession for those who are not even saved. So, Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the power of Jesus. Ah, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your power, Holy Spirit. Now, God, we ask that you would move every hindrance out of the way. God, I have to decree, decree today that you move everything out of the way that would try to block and try to hinder the prayer first and foremost. Oh, God, I thank you in the name of Jesus that your word says that if I decree a thing, that you have to establish it, oh, God. So I decree and declare a breakthrough for somebody today. I decree and declare a blessing for somebody today. I decree and declare a breakout for somebody today. I decree and declare a, an answer to a prayer on today. I decree and declare an open window on today. Hallelujah. Somebody came today, God, in the heat because they need a blessing, God, on today in the name of Jesus. I don't know who it is, but I think it's the one who's beeping the most. Who needs a breakthrough on today in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you all for the opportunity of celebrating 93, 93 years of existence. Not every church can say the same. So we thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for 93 years, oh God, the Trinity has stood. So, Father, I pray, oh God, for each and every member of Trinity Baptist Church in the name of Jesus. Pray for the pastor of this church, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Pray, oh God, that you would have your way like never before. So, Father, there's somebody sick, God, heal them today. God, there's somebody who's down with the bless, bless them on today in the mighty name of Jesus. God, pray for this land, pray for this country in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray, oh God, that you would just bind up any hindrance in the name of Jesus. They're talking about a new world order, where there will be one religion, where there will be one sort of payment for everybody. People are scared, oh God, buying food because they think that the world is going to end. Oh God, but the believer says that it's, we don't know the day nor the time, oh God, that when you will return. But God, we're going to be in a position of readiness in the name of Jesus. So God, have your way right now. Have your way right now. Have your way right now. Bless the living breath of Niagara Falls, oh God, and the whole state of New York. And God, those 26 states that are, have high COVID, God, wait, I pray, oh now, pray, oh God, that you would cause them to decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. God, decrease the levels of COVID right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, somebody needs a miracle today. A miracle, God, that, that supernatural miracle, God, somebody needs it today. So God, I pray right now that you would just perform the miracle today. Oh, miracle, the miracle, the miracle, the miracle, the miracle, do the miracle today, God. Don't tarry, but perform the miracle, God, in the name of Jesus. Some of us still believe that you are miracle working, God, so we thank you right now for the miracle. Come on and be trinity for the miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last three people gonna get your miracle today. Come on and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.
everybody say amen. Everybody beat your horn one time. Beat your horn if you can hear me. All right, can y'all hear me now? Beat your horn, you thank God. This is my story, this is my song. I'm praising my Savior all the day long. Let me do this real quick and not going to be able to do everything I want to do and my notes are flew all over the place so let me just do this uh, well, I'll read this history it says we have very little history is written about Trinity Baptist Church that which we possess is a profession of our great Baptist heritage Trinity Baptist Church has been in existence for approximately Trinity Baptist have been in existence for 93 years of plus the church had its origin in a religious society around 1954. The basic philosophy of the society was to extend the program of God through prayer and Christian doctrine. With Reverend Emmett Moore as pastor of the group worship for years as an unincorporated body, following the conviction of a free church body. In 1929, the small group of dedicated Christians were incorporated according to New York State law and adopted the name of Trinity Baptist Church. Um, there was often questions, and I think I look back at this, because people look at the history and they say that the church existed from the time of incorporation, but there are also unincorporated bodies, and we should actually look at the year that the church actually started. So we might need to add some correction to that. It is not from the date of the corporation, but it is the date that the church actually formed and came together as a body. Uh, so we're looking at 1924. Somebody need to tell me is that 93 or 93 years up to now and, and calculate that correctly. But the period from around 1929 to 1950 was one of radical change and utter turmoil for the church. Very little historical information was recorded and much of his only scattered bits of information is known. However, from what little information was communicated, we know that the following did transpire. The church moved to 14 different localities during the period. Around 1940, a large school occurred in Trinity. Half the membership left and formed a new church because of a disagreement with the church policies. Seventeen different ministers served as pastor of Trinity during the period of 1924 to 1950. In March of 1950, Reverend J. Pratchett was called to pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. The congregation was at a record low, numbering only seven active members. Services were being held in various private homes. The church was almost financially destitute, unorganized, and on the verge of collapse. Under the leadership of Pastor Pratchett, Trinity experienced its first important rebirth. And with the increasing membership, a need for larger quarters became necessary. The church soon located an appropriate site at 1912 Maryland Avenue. Because of a shortage of funds, Trinity was not able to immediately begin construction of a new church. Therefore, a large canvas tent was purchased and sermons were built there. This was the fall of 1950. With the onslaught of rental and because of a large private in wheels, it became apparent that a permanent place in worship was essential. In the spring of 1995, the congregation decided to build a new church. Construction began with the erection of a basement on Maryland Avenue site. The worship occurred from 1952 to 1955. Not too long after the completion of the basement for the new church, the congregation suffered another adversity. The city was on the area, and therefore the church could not complete the building. In 1956, when the crash left his securing a successful building from recommended the site for the new church be purchased but pursued. The church was successful in September of the same year. The Jewish temple of the congregation of Haba Shalom at 209 10th Street was purchased. The membership at that time had reached 305. Despite the apparent triumphs of the congregation of membership and the church began to fall off and the church finally lapsed into a period of recession. During the November of 1958, the church was forced to carry on without a pastor. In November of 1958, Reverend Ray was called to pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. At the time of the installation for Pastor Ray Down, there were approximately 35 active members left in the congregation. Undone by the situation we faced, Pastor Ray Down immediately began contacting members.
those who have fallen away from the church has continued also to be fruitful. And over the next few years of his ministry, many fallen on members returned to the church. The membership surged to an all time high of 257. The financial condition truly also brightened over the Laban's pastor. The final mortgage payment was paid on August of 1961. The church building fund over the Laban instituted the prayer system and later the piety program was started. An effective for the financial program was finally stabilized to success under his leadership. The church progressed to a point beyond the scene of the past year of the 10th Street Macau. Faith in the Lord required a dilemma and still growing the church to the size of the prejudices of a new church in the fall of 1964. The Trinity Baptist Church purchased the old St. Matthew, St. James Methodist Church at 1366 South Avenue. The new church home offered many advantages for the expanding congregation line number and people to be completed. The church was purchased for 29500 for a 20-year mortgage that was paid off in precisely seven years. The Trinity Baptist Church has been forced against the social injustice, has been forced against the social injustice. The Trinity Baptist Church has been involved probably in social action programs such as the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s. Trinity Baptist in the forefront and letting its facilities be used in a successful boycott of the WC Grant store in the city of Niagara Falls. At that time, it was public with the president of the Congress of Racial Equality, better known as CORE. Robert E. Porter was vice president, and Pastor Ray Baum was chairman of the advisory board. Trinity Baptist Church was represented at the march in Washington in 1964. Breaking down racial barriers and securing jobs. In 2014, Pastor Ben Ray Brown retired as pastor of Trinity Baptist Church for 56 years of dedicated service. In August 2015, Reverend Dr. Jimmy Hardy Jr. was called to pastor the Trinity Baptist Church. The dean was called as pastor on October 4, 2015. We were also blessed to have his wife, Reverend Karen Reverend Hardaway, as our leading lady. Gracias. 
God's expectation of us. Y'all help me because I'm not even grabbing my notes. That is what God requires and expects of us. Of us. The word clearly says to us in verse 5 that this is the message that we have heard from him and that we have proclaimed to you. God has given us a message that cannot be denied. And it is a message that we do not receive from any book or any other program. It is not something that we receive from a reality show. But it is the word from God himself. And I'm so glad today to know that God still speaks to us. God speaks to us in many different and verbal ways. God speaks to us in our lives, in our homes, on our jobs. Sometimes God speaks to us through the preacher, the pastor. And I know some people say, well, he's just man, but he is God's man or God's woman. And God will use him, God will use her to give you a message. But God sometimes can speak through other things, through experiences in life. God can speak to other people in our lives. Sometimes we kind to take people for granted and we don't want to hear what they say and don't realize that God may have sent them to give you a word. Do you understand that even a child can sometimes give you a message if you would only listen to that child? Amen. And so we know that God speaks to us, and when God speaks to us, He speaks to us in a clear manner and in a clear way. He speaks to us that we would understand. And when He speaks to us, He gives us a message that will help us. Amen. A message that will lead us and that a message that will guide us. His message is clear. His message is clear. His message is the truth. And it is the full truth. When I was doing uh, background on this message, um, I read somewhere where the, the writer was speaking about uh, full advertisement. Because sometimes when people advertise, they, don't, they do not include the full advertisement in what they give. The writer talked about how he had decided that he needed a new computer, and when he looked up, he saw that the computer was on sale for $500. He said that that sounded like a good idea. He went to the store, and he asked the salesperson where the computer was. He showed him the computer that was $500, but he said, sir, if you want the monitor, and you want the printer, it costs a little bit more. He said, but you said that the computer was for 500 No, sir, the computer itself, but everything that goes with the computer, is not the full price. And that is how it is in life sometimes when people talk to us. They don't always give us the full story. They just give us enough story to bring us in or to grab us in or to get our attention. But I'm glad today that when God speaks to us and when God speaks to me and when God speaks to you, he gives us the whole story. He gives us the message that we need to hear and to live by today. And this is what it says in verse 5, and I'm almost through, that this is the message that we have heard from him and proclaimed to you. Well, what is that message? The message is that God is light, and in him that there is no darkness at all. That God is holy, amen, and that God is pure. Y'all well, know about light. You need light in darkness. You don't need light during the day, amen. We were inside um, uh, yesterday, they were completing the lights, and we discovered that we had a problem with the LEDs, the way they are made, and the, the wattage we used, that we could not do the ceiling because they would have cost more and because they didn't fit. But, you know, I was sitting there and I was talking to Brother Taylor and he says, you know, the only time you really need this light is when it's dark. He says, during the day, we will barely need the light because the light comes in through the window. And I stopped by to let you know that God is like that light. 
that he turns the light on. He brings shining in the midst of darkness. He brings gladness in the midst of darkness. And I wonder if anybody know that he is the light of the world. Somebody said to me that, that, that uh, I've heard this before, that uh, the Reverend Rayon's favorite song is just for the light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And that's what we have to do today, is that we have to let that light shine. Who is that light? God is that light. God is the brings the illumination. God brings everything that we need. And we don't need anything else when we've got God on our side. I think I'm doing good if I my notes today. Can somebody help me today? That God is everything that we need. And this is what it says, that if we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness and we lie and do not practice the truth, it says that you've got to have fellowship with God. But can I help somebody here? When you have fellowship with God, it means that you also got to have fellowship with one another. You can't walk around and not talk to your neighbor. I wish I had a witness here. And say that you got fellowship with God. You cannot walk around here and hate your neighbor and say that you got fellowship with God. But if you want to have fellowship with God, you've got to love one another. Do I have any witness today? You've got to be in love with one another and in love with God. And this he says, beloved, we are God's children. Aren't you glad that you're God's child? Aren't you glad? I know, I know that you got a record down at the city hall and at the state registry who says who your mama and your daddy were when you were born on whatever day that you were born in January through December. But can I tell you that there's another record that is written on high that has another birth record in it and it simply says that you are a child of God. Anybody here, can you say, I am a child of God and I've got my name written in the birth certificate on high. Do I have some witnesses here? Somebody, y'all, 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 wait, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all remember, y'all remember when Barack Obama was the president and somebody said that they didn't believe that he was born in the United States. And y'all, y'all know who that was. And, and the birth was in somebody else. And they said that we want to see his birth certificate. Produce his birth certificate and we'll get a record of who he is. But I'll stop by to say that I've got my birth certificate. It's got my name on it. And it says that I belong to God and that I am a child of God. I'll preach right out here in this parking lot because I want you to know today that you got to be, you have to be, you ought to be a child of God. And this is what it says, then it says, beloved, we are God's children. And now, what will we be has not yet appeared, but, but we know this, yeah, 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 that, that, that's what it says. But let me go back to something here. It says, if we, if, 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 if we say we have fellowship with him while we in darkness and we lie and do not pass truth, but if we walk in the light, amen. So what does that mean? And I'm going to close with that. You've got to walk in Jesus. You've got to walk in the light. You know, I already told you who the light was, and you got to say that I'm going to follow him wherever I I go. Can I get some witnesses here? And it says, he in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus cleans us. Can I get some witnesses here? I want you to know today that, that I desire to walk in the light. Is there anybody here that wants to walk, oh God of this day, amen, that wants to walk in the light? Huh? Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Is there anybody here that gonna walk by faith and not by sight? Yeah, yeah. I made up in my mind uh, that whatever the world does and whatever the world says, that I'm gonna walk uh, in the light. Amen. Uh, the wind may blow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the lightning uh, may flash. I said, uh, and the thunder may. Oh, yeah, but I'm gonna walk in the light. I wish I had a witness in the day. I'm gonna walk in the light. I'm gonna walk in the light. People may talk about me, people may scandalize my name, but I got Jesus. I 
you do I hear the angels here and I tell you I'm glad Jesus in everything is going to be alright since Lord Lord can light Trinity Lord can light Trinity Lord can light Trinity Lord can light Walk in the light. The beautiful light. Come with the dew drops of mercy. Shine right. Walk in the light. That's all you gotta do. Is walk in the light. Tell somebody I'm gonna walk in the light. I'm gonna walk in the light. Take this opportunity to extend the invitation to someone. I don't know anybody in the car, somebody that's watching us online, somebody that may be watching us later. We offer Jesus Christ to you. We invite you to give your life to the Lord while you have this chance. Tomorrow is my promise. This day could be your one. And all you have to do is let us know. You can type online. Say that I want to talk to you. You can call the church. You can reach out to somebody and say, I need to get my life right with God. So much is going on. And I know when you look at some of the near terms, you know the the COVID-19 numbers are going up in our country. Right now, there are more deaths than yesterday than ever was before. And that's why I'm not trying to rush to do anything. I'm not trying to rush to do anything, but we're going to trust God. We're going to trust God. And if there is somebody, please just let us know. Let me play this for y'all.
man. Look at that. Walk in the light. Amen. How many of y'all are gonna walk in the light? Listen. All right, let me let me make a few announcements. We ask that you continue to pray for all our sick and our and all of our shuttering. I'm asking that you to keep, keep my wife in prayer. She'll be having surgery on Friday, so we ask that you remember. 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 Thank God for keeping us and for keeping us. Thank God for keeping us here and us well. 